There's a lot of material about Bob Fosse. There's much less material about Gwen Verdon. I think a lot of us know less about Gwen Verdon. Gwen Verdon was the entire heart. I don't think Bob Fosse really would have become himself without her. It wouldn't have looked the same without Gwen. You see what Gwen's doing with the arms? Scooping ice cream. Diamonds and pearls. Do that. Gwen Verdon was one of the greatest Broadway musical stars of her era and unknown as the secret collaborator of her husband, Bob Fosse. A lot of working on this show has been about discovering Gwen, who she was, and her contribution to the body of work that we know of as Bob Fosse's. It was Gwen who was the star. It was Gwen who was really the toast of the town, and Bob was a choreographer. He hadn't gotten directing jobs yet. What did I do to deserve you? <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> My mother made Goofy sexy. <laughs> boop, boop, beta. She was a triple threat on Broadway. She was a highly trained dancer. She was very much fashioned after the, a harlequin or a mime when she performed. Her dancing was unparalleled for her time and for this time. She was a performer who believed in working harder than everybody else. Let me just go again from the top, Bobby. I don't have it in my body yet. You heard the lady, let's take it all the way back. She was a self-made woman. She came from nothing, from the depression, from a very poor family, and from difficult circumstances. And she created a life that she had fun living. She became, to an artist, all the colors in the spectrum. Show me the reverse. Uh, yours is better. Let's do it again. I met Michelle through this project, and she saw something in Gwen that resonated with her. I immediately called Stephen Levinson. I said, all right, well, it's over. We found her. And, uh, you know, both she and Sam approached the work on a molecular level. I'm always drawn to a person, to a character. When I read a script, I found myself going towards this woman, even though I knew very little about who she really was. When you're walking backwards and you roll the shoulder, it's not a seduction, it's a con job. <laughs> <laughs> now, he doesn't know that, so shh. A lot of the preparation was physical, of course, so it started with dance training. A lot of it is just repetition. It's allowing yourself to walk into something as a beginner and have faith in yourself and the people that you're working with that you will perform it with fluidity and effortlessness. I'm so excited for the world to see what Michelle is doing in this because I, I've certainly never seen anything like it and I, I'm, I'm excited to share it. Slash the shoulders. I don't think I've ever heard that word from a choreographer before. Bob and Gwen really lived through a period of ups and downs with Broadway. And then eventually Bob eclipsed Gwen and they both had to figure out how to manage that. To get to tell their story is a huge privilege and I have felt thrilled and also just incredibly honored to get to explore this legacy and to hopefully, you know, dig a little bit deeper into these two people and understand them a little bit better. You and Gwen make a hell of a team. <laughs>